So one aspect of the IDD therapy treatment is the amount of pulling force which is used to distract and then mobilize uh, targeted segments of the spine. Now, we have a certain amount of physical strength which is adequate to resolve a great many back pain problems. But there are times when we're trying to decompress and mobilize segments which have become stiff and immobile. And it's very difficult to actually mobilize the, mobilize the spine just using the hands. So I'm just gonna go over to uh, a gym to just really highlight uh, the actual, um, the, the reality of the pulling force which the machine can exert. So in treating back pain, uh, manual therapy gives you uh, precision and sensitivity to feel what's happening uh, in the lower back. Uh, but there are times when we need more force to be able to distract and mobilise uh, targeted spinal segments. So the IDD therapy uses a, a mechanical pulling force uh, to, to achieve that. Now when we think about the actual amount of force that is being used, we use a force as a function of someone's body weight and sometimes it's quite difficult to visualise what that force actually looks like. So depending on people's weight we use a force as a function of half their body weight. So if somebody weighs 60 kilos the force would be half their body weight minus a few kilos. So it might be sort of 30 kilos or 28 kilos up to sort of 35 kilos which is considerable force. And that, that force is being applied cyclically for 25 minutes. To do that manually is extremely difficult and I just wanted to show you sort of what these sort of weights look like. So if somebody weighs 40 kilos, this is a 20 kilo weight. So that's, extreme, that's actually quite heavy and I can hold that for, you're starting to, I'm starting to feel that now. If somebody weighs, if somebody weighs, uh, do I have 60 kilos, that is 30 kilos. Now we're applying that comfortably and gently along the length of the spine controlled at their pelvis. And then if you get somebody who's got a bit more weight on them, uh, I'm sort of 80, 90 kilos. That is 40 kilos. And we're applying that gently and comfortably. So just to, I'm putting a lot of strain to actually physically lift that. Um, so to achieve that with the hands is simply not possible. Um, now, when we use the IDD therapy, we're using a high force when doing it for 25 minutes. Now, to do that manually requires somebody to actually grab hold of the pelvis and manually pull with the amount of force we've just seen. But this machine will just show, show us what that really uh, feels like to try and do that with your hands. So, what the machine is actually doing is very carefully distracting at the pelvis to pull and open the disc space. So if we're trying to do that manually holding on, this is sort of the closest illustration I get. We've got some weights on here, uh, about 30 kilos. Uh, so what the machines do with pulling, now either you're going to do the mobilization with your arms, or you're gonna use your body, um, and that's gonna require a core of steel to be able to do that. This is quite heavy, it's constantly pulling me back and I've got to try and maintain a complete control on the pelvis to open this space. So with the IDD we distract and then at the top for one minute there's the oscillation, very gentle oscillation, not much of that but it's quite hard. So I'm applying the mobilisation in the longitudinal plane, then I'm relaxing but I'm not taking the tension off completely. So if I was trying to do this manually, I've got constant tension on the whole body. Then apply it again for one minute. That was about 20 seconds and it was already hurting. And then I'm doing my very gentle oscillation. And my core is not what it should be, but I can really feel it. Then I'm releasing it again, and then I'm bringing it on again. So, so as far as uh, applying that kind of distraction mobilization technique manually along the length of the spine controlling the pelvis, that's, that's impossible. And that's where the, the IDD treatment tool comes in to help clinicians to decompress uh, the disc.